I bring that up to say that we're both also Libras, um, which in a better understanding, you know, what Libras are, you know, there's certain characteristics that we have uh, that people tend to call us out for. I think, you know, one of them is that we're constantly weighing our decisions all the time. We're always trying to figure out what's the best solution here. So some people call us indecisive because we're constantly just evaluating. Do you find it hard for you sometimes to try to make the right decision? Do you get caught up trying to make the right decision instead of just trying to make a decision in the moment? Yeah, so um, not anymore, right? And I think um, I get really anxious actually when I can't make a decision. <laughs> it really causes me like, I get hot, you know, like it's just, I, I literally am having a panic attack if I can't make a decision. Um, and so I'm used to making quick decisions. And, and that's part of, you know, that's a throwback to when I was just moving so fast and had to make quick decisions. And they had, they were either going to be good or bad, <laughs> one or the other. But Gotta live happened. with it either way. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, but I, I think, you know, right now I find myself not very indecisive. I'm in a really kind of settled, content place in my life. And I honestly attribute that to meditation. Like I've been meditating for three years and <laughs> changed my entire life, entire life. What kind of meditation do you do? Because actually, you know, I know you've mentioned this to me, but we've never actually talked in depth about, you know, how do you do your meditation? How often do you do guided? Yeah. What, what do you do? Yeah. So for when I first started meditation, it was in the midst of this, like, I'm changing my entire life. You know, like I was shutting down restaurants, focusing on this one, shutting down lines of businesses, like everything was changing. We were moving. Um, and so why medita change, meditation changed my life was because it gave me enough mental space to change my perspective. It wasn't that my life physically changed so much. I mean, there were changes with the businesses, but I changed my perspective on what was happening. And that was the, that changed my life because I'm now looking at the same set of information very differently. Um, and I'm able to see opportunities and threats even where I didn't see them before. And so um, I started out doing group me meditation at the YMCA in Baltimore. You know, I'd go to the Y, you know, Olivia, the, my two little girls, they were, you know, like two and four at the time. And so really it just started out being a place where I could get a moment of silence because you can't get a moment of silence with a two and four year old. Definitely not those two girls. Exactly. And so it's just like that turned into, you know, three, four years later, um, you know, I still go to this group meditation, but I also have my own personal practice where, you know, I'm on the call map like 10 minutes a day, right? Like that's it. Or I'll do nature hikes and, and go hiking and just kind of be in the woods and quiet and walking and, um, you know, walking meditation. That's like my preferred method of it's my favorite as well um, through nature or even walking on a track at the gym um, and listening to democracy. -ish, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making the shout out for one of our DCP shows. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how you meditate listening to democracy ish, but yeah, thank you. Well, maybe it's before or after that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so i mean meditation helped me change my perspective which helped me see other options and in turn change my life yeah it sounds like it almost helped you kind of slow down at least your thought process Does that yeah. help kind of slow yeah. things down and take a step back from yeah. just the day-to-day -day craziness yep absolutely yeah. yeah, one of the other things that Libras tend to be known for is that we are people pleasers. Like we want everybody to love us and we want everybody to love each other. Have you found that that has sometimes gotten in the way of doing good business? And, you know, is that something you've had to kind of fight against? Yeah, I mean, a lot of that has been just kind of like, like a good body scrub. It's just been scrubbed off, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I left my people pleasing behind me because... What I found out was no matter what I did, people were never somehow pleased, right? 
so true. <laughs> um, and so I, you know, one day, and I don't know when it happened, a few years ago, and I probably said this in my head, but it was like such a defining thought that I still remember it. I said to myself, I will no longer do for people what they are unwilling to do for themselves. So I'm not going to go be successful because you don't want to take the time to be successful. Like, I'm not going to, you know, try to help you figure out all of your problems because you won't take the time to try and figure out your own problems. Like, <laughs> yeah, I get a, I get a lot of those requests. Yeah. So it, it ended up freeing up a lot of time, um, freeing up a lot of mental space. Um, and it's one thing if someone is trying to help themselves. I'm all in. Right. I'm all in if you're trying to help yourself. And you need some help. But what I'm not all in it, in doing is trying to do something for you that you wouldn't even do for yourself. You're unwilling to do for yourself. Mm -hmm.